The story of Jesus' cursing of the fig tree seems very odd, even capricious. Now, why does Jesus respond so violently to this fig tree? Especially if, as many scholars have suggested, this wasn't even the season when fig trees should be bearing fruit. And how does Jesus' teaching about the power of faith relate to this anti-agricultural event? The answers come from understanding that verses 18 to 22 are immediately related and together make one important theological point. The fig tree in our story clearly represents Jerusalem and any Jews who oppose Jesus. The withering of the tree is another metaphorical image of God's judgment on unbelieving Israel and especially its leaders, even as the cleansing of the temple was. And recall also the regular theme of fruit bearing in Matthew. Jesus then goes on to speak about the necessity and power of faith. And just a moment's reflection on Matthew reminds us that faith, and particularly faith in Jesus, has been an important theme throughout the book, especially when it comes to Jesus' conflict with the religious leaders. What I'm saying is, all throughout Matthew, we have been hearing the message that now in Christ, the people of God are defined not by just ethnicity or good works, but by faith in Christ. Thus, this passage combines these twin truths of judgment on unbelieving Israel and the emphasis on the need for faith in Christ. In a very real sense, the temple is being replaced by faith as the way to rightly approach God.